I think Origami King was a great game. I really, really enjoyed my time playing Origami King. Yeah, Origami King's soundtrack is fucking great. I didn't mind its battle system. I know a lot of people did, but I, I didn't mind it. And I thought the story was great. The characters were great. I just feel like it. a lot of it, and maybe this is just me speculating, but I think people want, they, they don't want Paper Mario to be good anymore. I feel like it's, they just want it to continue to be on a down downward trend. And just, you know, talk about Paper Mario 64 and Thousand Year Door, the only time it was good, which I mean, for some people, that's fine but i feel like paper mario now ha is gonna have way harder a time being a good video game because of its legacy which i don't think it's fair for any game to have to deal with that yes i did hear that as well booski that they're not allowed to have original characters anymore I, oh i played a mori that game is it is fucking magical. Highly recommend Amori. It does a lot of stuff that Undertale tried to do better. I would say that. I wouldn't say it's a better game than Undertale, because I feel like that's really subjective, but ooh, ballsy, 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 ooh! God, that was really tight. Um, I wouldn't say it's a better game, but I think, I do know a lot of people who liked Amori more than they liked Undertale. I think Undertale was funnier, but Amori is very hilarious. Like, there's, there's parts in Amori that had me, like, like, pretty much cry laughing. Amori felt more of a, it felt like they filled in that world a little bit more than Undertale. I think Undertale had like an X factor thing that I can't really put my finger on that Amori didn't have. I think the point I'm trying to make is like, if you didn't like Undertale for whatever reason, you should still give Amori a try. Cause like, I know a lot of people who said like, oh, like, like this is, this was fun, you know, but I didn't, I didn't like care for Undertale or Deltarune. Undertale walked so Amori could run. No, I wouldn't say that. I think, I think Amori was in development at the same time that Undertale was in development. I think it's unfair to say that you can't compare the games. You know what I mean? Earthbound walked so Undertale could run. I agree with that. I really need to give Earthbound another try. I had such a hard time figuring out what the fuck to do in that game because I played it very late. Like I, I definitely had like, I think a similar thing that other people have with like trying to play like even like Ocarina of Time today. Like I remember I remember watching Caleb Hiles play Ocarina of Time for the first time. He didn't know where the fucking sword was. And I'm like, that's so crazy. Like how do you just how how do you not know where the sword is? And if you don't know where the sword is, how the fuck are you supposed to know that it's in like a hole in the wall behind all this shit? Like you have to like search the entire goddamn Kokiri Forest, which when you know where everything is, it's not that big. But if you don't know where it is, it's it's endlessly big. It's like when you like I mean I'm playing Elden Ring now finally. Like Ouija the God is over and he he played through Elden Ring. And I'm sure for him, like he he understands the world, but for me it's just like it's as big as fucking the earth to me. There's no like boundaries to not only find the hole in the wall but realize you have to yeah you have to walk up to it and then see the button flash that says like would you like to crawl in that only flashes when you're like right next to it yeah i i, I know the reason i i finished awkward no time as a kid is because i used a fucking walkthrough like i like i will say it fuck it that game was hard i probably used gamefacts.org dude fucking notepad ass walkthroughs Ooh, that was fucking awesome that's about as fast as I could hope. The last level was really fast too. This might be a, this might be a gold. You check that Sonic Origins. Uh, I have not checked it out. I'm not a huge Sonic game fan. I, I just like its music a lot. <laughs> I'd like Adventure 2. I'm a definitely a basic bitch Sonic fan. I like Sonic Mania. That was my introduction to a lot of the Sonic classic levels. But other than that, I'm pretty much a fake fan. Never played. No, I never played Adventure One. My exposure to um, Station Square, like that song, was when it was voted for in my top ten medleys. I've been thinking about doing a project kind of similar to it. I want to like crowdsource literally a list of just like in the year 2022, the just top 100 video game songs. If everybody could pick one video game song, and then we just tallied up those votes from like the biggest pool possible, what would that be? And maybe I could. I, I probably wouldn't do like one video of it all, but like figure it out. It was cool about um the way i did top 10 medleys was i literally just did it out of like comments you know they said you can just type whatever you want in the comments the problem was we had to like i i had a little bit of help but i had to do it manually let's go oh wait i thought it, i thought we were gonna skip the cutscene still saved a fuck load of time there would hide the total oh oh yeah, yeah, yeah i would hide total yeah no one would know until it was over i would say something i've been, I've been thinking about doing is just generally something that opens up the ability to to make a long series of videos rather than just like one big one i think a lot of people got into my my channel because of medleys but the problem with medleys is they're very hard to monetize because you can't 
like license them on stores and stuff. Every single individual song in a medley would need to be licensed. The copyright's a bitch, yeah. It's something I've been thinking about doing is like do something along the lines of like for like a year or something, like I do like the top video game songs of all time as voted. But because like I think a lot of people were, were pissed at the way that the, the top 10 medleys were done. Oh God, go, no, 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 no. We can't take damage. It was skewed from my own audience, which would also be skewed based on the songs that I had already done, right? Yeah, I think a countdown style would be sick, like, and then, and then like, just start at like number 100, you know, best video game song, and then go down and just cover every single one. In a way that wasn't like me trying to make like a big, like music video out of it. Please. Oh, that was good. That was a really good harvester. Holy shit. This run has a chance, dude. That was a really good harvester. Even though we lost 20 seconds, I will fucking take that all day. I'm like really burnt out on the like the meta of do the most popular song, you know, and that's and just keep doing that. It almost doesn't even matter like how good the video is. It's, it's just do the most popular song for like right now. And I get burnt out for do doing that, but like in a full music video style every week. Um, oh no! We're gonna start having problems with that shit. How unfulfilling just following trends can be. Yeah, but it's tough because if you don't follow trends, then you have to deal with not growing, you know? And sometimes it's even worse because like, so when you follow a trend, the problem with it is you will never be happy because either the video does good and that's what you're expecting. So like you're satiated, you're, you're contented by that. Or the video fails and you're actually even more angry than if you weren't trying to chase a, a thing. So there's no winning when you do it that way, other than monetarily, obviously, but like fulfilling wise, like you can't win. Oh, why I did that? I don't know, like, but we're good. Hitbox score. That should have worked. I, I actually don't know why that didn't. I think that cost us run, the run right there. The fact that we did this run with a broken thumb means that I have no excuse. We can do it. The, the trick is you just want to find the trends that you yourself are hype about, right? It's a really, really slippery slope when you have creators who like, you know, you have this in like mid mid 2010s where like creators started realizing that they could like make a shitload of money if they make if they made content regarding uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. People, regardless of whether or not they liked fi uh, Five Nights at Freddy's, would be making this content and they would not be able to stop because they would just be like, God, I hate this, but I like money, you know? And there's nothing wrong with that. It's like, you know, you, you build a lifestyle based on your income and then you have to continue making that income or you have to bring your lifestyle back. When it comes to that, you just kind of grit and bear it. Oh, that's not correct. Choking. This is a choke. I think it's it's just it's all about finding that that balance, and I don't think there ever is a balance where you're a hundred percent content. There's always going to be a time where um, you have to just open up this pit. Well, it's tough because they feel like they failed, but they've already succeeded. You know, like just because they failed at trying another game. Or like, it's not even like really a failure. Like I feel like you, like I know a lot of people who are stuck streaming the same game because they get thousands of viewers playing that game. And if they don't play that game, they get maybe hundreds. How's the hand feeling? Thumbs up. Damn, we finally had a good fucking run coming out of Harvester and we blew it. It's sad. Fortune Shop of most Poketubers, I guess, yeah. Uh, I, I think it's uh, big with Nuzlocks too. I don't know, like, how many people like, oh, fuck. yeah, that's fair. That's definitely one more, no, one more, that's game over. Whoa, <gasps> no! <sighs> I don't even wanna know. No, I don't even wanna know what it's gonna be after that. That was fucking rude.